found it. I got bribes in Atlanta. She took the lead in the family. Credit cards in the scammers. Getting the licks in the band. Legacy. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. He's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears? He is so strong. He's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov's strike. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me uh, down, but it's okay. It sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31. Nurmagomedov is two inches taller. The reach is the same. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LaVing. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the USC heavyweight division. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds. Fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. 
Nurmagomedov going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, they made a... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That shot blocked by Nermago Meadow. Look at the angle of that nice body. Well, oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermago Meadow. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. They got to whip his hip into that kick. Right on the button. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moves right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Right hand landed. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nermago Metal. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. That was a nice strike. Checks that leg kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Big kick land. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, effective strike there by Nermago Metal. Leg kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big kick land. Try to establish that jab. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, nice jab. Nice punch, Lynn. Final seconds of round one. And he landed the right hand there. Five minutes in the books. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? 
no discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. Oh, strong punch there by Nermago Medov. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, big left hook there. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Big punch lands through the middle. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the first fight was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food. Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Three minutes. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Nermago Meadow. Just misses with the jab there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Just misses with the jab. really worry about the wrestling and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Such a fast leg kick. Yeah, left hook found its target. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a welt on his opponent. Blocks the shot. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Mago Medov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Well, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Marco Medov. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, 
tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Dermago Medov gets stung by that leg kick. Man, look at the red is now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hit to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Something feels better. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant punch. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore right. because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. He has a commitment to kicking tonight. And oh, that's in there, DC. He massive, hurt. massive hook land, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Nermago Meta. Oh, straight right. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Nurmago Medov's torso, specifically that right side. Oh, big knee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, nice right hand. Punch is blocked. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Glancing right hand upstairs. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back, 
is watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Beautiful body kick. Whiffs on the elbow. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Big leg kick. Alright, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Whoa! Back to the feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Good punch, Lance. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Right under the elbow, the body keeps playing. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh, straight right. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. fight here. Missed with that attempt. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like a landed right on that. Right on the cut, and he's targeted it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut. He just puts his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keep making it split. He's showing his opponent that he has no Gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh! Look at that. Oh, it's over. It's over. Holy smokes! Woo! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 22 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by...